On AM Extra now, as Portland celebrated Pride over the weekend, July also marks Disability Pride Month across America. One of the local nonprofits working to increase inclusiveness in our community is Relay Resources. You may have seen their float during the Portland Pride Parade, but their year-round mission is to help people with disabilities find meaningful employment. Dr. Jennifer Lubke is the new CEO of Relay Resources. She joins us live to tell us more about Disability Pride Month and the work their organization does. Good morning. Good morning, Emily and Travis. It's great to be here. Great Thanks to have you here. Joining. Yeah. So let's first just kind of talk about what is National Disability Pride Month and when did it start? Yeah, National Disability Pride Month is celebrated every single July to honor the disability community's history and um, their experiences, achievements, and struggles. Um, and it marks the anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act that was passed in 1990. Um, so that's the reason that we celebrate it. Um, disabled people belong everywhere. That is Relay Resources' vision. And so we want to make sure that we pursue, uh, at, you know, disability rights and disability justice. So what is the, the role that Relay Resources has in, in this process? What is, what is the day-to-day -day mission behind what you do? Right. Well, we just went through our strategic planning process. So our new mission is that we transform workplaces and communities by, by uh, championing disability inclusion. And so how we play a part is uh, primarily we run uh, four different or five different lines of business. Uh, we have document solutions where we do document imaging. We have a warehouse where we do a lot of pick pack ship for various customers such as Bob's Red Mill, Danner Boots, um, Aardvark Sauce, some of those you've heard. We also have a very large janitorial staff. So one of the things we do is we hire people with and without disabilities to clean the uh, Portland International Airport. And you can see us at, at there. We also clean um, Portland State University. Uh, we have many contracts throughout the region and also in Seattle and Eastern Oregon. Yeah, that's pretty cool that uh, all kinds of wonderful opportunities for employment here. But to know that uh, some of your employees are taking care of the iconic carpet at the PDX yeah. airport and, and keeping that space clean. So how will the new terminal opening impact your work? Yes, great question. Uh, so the new terminal will require even more janitors for us because we need to clean the extended space. So we are actually hiring in the process of hiring additional people with and without disabilities uh, to clean the new terminal at the airport. And uh, one thing that we do that's different for people with disabilities and with people with disabilities is we have employee success coaches that really work with each person with a disability to make sure that they have the accommodations uh, to be successful in their job. One of our core values is equity, and that means that every employee has what they need to thrive at work. And so uh, we really um, champion equity and uh, making sure that people with disabilities have um, equity, equitable access in order to do their job. Hmm. Well, what changes do you feel like still need to happen uh, on this front? You know, how are you moving this mission forward? There are so many things that need to be done, but I think that the thing that really needs to happen, the next phase, is that companies need to embrace people with disabilities. 27% of our population has some sort of disability. And there are many people who currently work who may have a non-apparent disability who are afraid to disclose that disability to their employer. And so what that tells me is you've got this, the largest minority population uh, with 27% of people having a disability You've got the lowest um, un or the lowest employment rates in in that group of people with disabilities, and you've got companies out there who I know want to do the right thing. They want to hire people with disabilities, um, but they don't know how. So I think that that is an area where companies can educate themselves. They can learn about what Relay Resources does. We can certainly help companies work with them to help them hire more people with disabilities and be really good employers to that population. Yeah, it's a really important connection uh, piece of the puzzle here yeah. to be working with both employers who, who want to expand that service and access and then also to help employees and people with disabilities yeah. find those opportunities. That's great. Dr. Jennifer Lubke from Really Resources, thank you so much for joining us. Great to talk with you this morning. Thank you. And I just wanted to show off if I'm still on air that I've got the disability pride colors on my um, nails. Oh. It's been a conversation starters. So everyone celebrate disability pride. 
we at Relay Resources are happy to make sure that we educate people on disability inclusion at work. That's fantastic. That's great. Yeah, um, that's Happy awesome. Happy Disability Pride Month. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. And if you want to learn more about Relay Resources, the wonderful work they're doing in the community, and the ways that you can help the disability community, visit RelayResources.org. That's a good point. I mean, sometimes there, I mean, I'm, there are employers that are probably willing to yeah. look into this, but to Dr. Lubke's point, 